to load labels, we're gonna start with our printer on and you wanna open up the printer, lower your control panel, lift your print module, and make sure any existing supplies are emptied out of the printer. Okay, we'll set our ribbon aside for a moment. We'll start by removing the auto detect roll holder. Simply squeeze the green tab and remove the end stop, the margin stop, set it aside. Take your IP enabled label roll and you can tell if it's IP enabled because there's an RFID tag on the inside of the core. You slide it on all the way to the core of the holder, making sure that the printable side of your media is facing upward, always. And then simply squeeze the green tab and recenter the margin stop, which takes place automatically when you push that margin stop in. It auto centers your media. Now you'll notice that there are electrical contacts here and here on the tabs of the media holder, and those drop straight into the printer and make electronic contact with the printer. Now the printer knows what's installed. After we thread some label material through, we're gonna to have to set that sensor. So pull out a small amount of label material, rotate the red guide forward to separate the guides, and then rotate it back. You wanna just encapsulate and cover those edges. If you go too far, your media will bend and you don't want that to happen, so don't go too far. At this point, we're gonna close the print module fully, and we're gonna raise our control panel to see what the printer tells us to do for a sensor setting. This error message is telling you that there's no ribbon installed, which is understandable, because there isn't a ribbon installed. It not only tells us which part number we've put into the printer, but it tells us that the gap sensor, which is that icon to the right there, has automatically been selected for this label from the RFID tag. But it tells us then that the user, that we need to set that sensor to number two. The reason we didn't put our ribbon in first is because that switch to set that sensor would be covered by a ribbon. That's why we like to recommend installing the labels first. Drop your control panel, lift your module again, and here's the setting for the gap sensor. The screen had told us set it to number two, which is where we already are if you take a look at the little black switch. If it happened to have been on one, then we would have to make a change. And you take a, a long, sharp object like a pin or this this a stick end of a cleaning swab, and you just adjust the little black switch to number one or number two, depending on what the screen told you. In this case, it was number two, and we're already there. Now, in this case, we've loaded a different type of label onto our roll holder. We're gonna follow the same instructions for dropping the roll holder into the printer and feeding that label material through the alignment guides. Everything is the same, you just spread the guides and then you close them back up to the right amount, tuck your label material through the slot, and again, to have the printer select that sensor for us and tell us where to set it, simply close the print module and raise your control panel. And again, bypass the ribbon message because there is no ribbon there. You'll notice that again, this part number is shown up on the screen, but now the icon for the sensor is totally different. The small ruler icon indicates that the printer has automatically selected the notch or the reflex sensor instead of the gap sensor. And it's telling the user, you need to set that to numeral value 27. So just like we did before, drop your control panel again, lift your print module out of the way. And in this case, we're not using this sensor up here. We adjust the notch sensor down below the green rubber print roller. To get at that sensor, it is tucked up underneath that roller. So just slide a little bit of label material back so you have some better access. And then using either your finger or you can use again a, a stick or a long pin or something, locate the green slider and our value was 27 from the screen. So you simply would slide that to the value of 27. Now that we've set that to number 27, for this installed label, that sensor eye is aligned perfectly with where that notch is, which means the user doesn't have to trial and error any sensor settings, which is gonna reduce the amount of labels wasted during calibration. If you're using non-IP enabled supplies, all of this has to be done through expertise, knowledge, and trial and error manually. The printer will not automatically tell you those things.